Salutations, ladies and germs. My name is Mr. Fox, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Salut, mon ami, je m'appelle Monsieur Arena, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And today, we're going to be looking at the doubt again for the third time. Well, the second time didn't make it to the light of day because, for whatever reason, Algato decided to not capture this mic. What the hell? I saw the green light flashing like I'm seeing it right now, so you better be capturing the damn thing. And we ran out of mills, and now I can't show you the year! <sighs> well, here's hoping the range falloff doesn't kick in. And accuracy falloff. And just general... inaccuracy. You know, like... I don't know. Short, medium-ish medium -ish range tend to be good. But in areas like that, you just get flinch hit of so many shots. And this is with enhanced rifle and flinching on, mind you. With the enhanced scatter projectile targeting. It's like, oh, why don't you have the one that's specific to autos? Ah, it's just so much damn work. Oh, shit. We're alive. I don't know how we're alive, but we're alive. How did that final thing not hit you, sir? Because I saw a damage number. I saw a damage No, fuck. Honestly, the biggest issue, again, is you can't put any mods on these because reasons. Don't ask why. I don't even know if Bungie knows. I'm sure it's to incentivize people to use new weapons. I mean, why are we only using 600 RPMs right now? Because they're broken and still haven't been addressed. What the fuck? saddest thing about the doubt is that the blue and green auto I used before it feel way better than it. Like, way more stable, way more accurate, way more rangy. This thing is just... Eh. Like, I'm almost glad I lost the We Ran Out of Metals footage of this. Because this gun kind of sucks. Like, I'm surprised. Like, range? You can't use it. It just flails everywhere. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. Like, everything flinches you out of every shot. For all the handling it has, it feels like it has zero handling. That was a not forgotten flinching us. Like, that thing needs little to... I just wish this game would be better than it was. It has the potential, but year after year, it always falls short of that potential. Every time. Thumbs me out, man. Five minutes. Double down. Yes. Three down.
Destiny has been in a rut ever since... What the hell launched this path? It feels like it's been way more than a year since Shadowkeep at this point. Like, beyond... What are we in? Season of Arrival? What has arrived but boredom? Bungie, what has arrived? Really, tell me, I wanna know. Like, all we get is dripped content. I was like, oh, look at this stuff. Oh, you gotta wait to play it, because we need a reason for you to come back after we do this thing that you're not gonna like. Because we're somehow gonna think you're gonna play this instead of Cyberpunk. Don't ask me why we think you're gonna do that. But please, buy more Eververse stuff. Also, play this really sh Right, this game, I'm not going to be salty and complain about Destiny 2 because no one wants to hear that. You know, they want to sit back, relax, and not think about how what must not be named is doing right now. Though I do hope Beyond Light is worth the wait. I really do. I mean, I always like the Axis Stranger. She was a cool character that I thought they should have done more with. Really wish this gun had some better aim assist, or any aim assist for that matter. But hey. Hey, always getting that smoke. Double down. Your legend rose. So does anyone remember way back in Season of the Drifter when they said this choice will have major consequences for the story going forward? Anyone else remember that? Is that you? So far it hasn't really come back to bite me in the ass, so... We're in a bad spot, buddy. We are in a bad spot. What the? Where did you come from? I think what really killed the season for me was The Last of Us Part Two because it came out pretty much around the same time as... Oh, I didn't back up far enough, did I? No. Because it came out pretty much around the same time as Season of the Rival. So I didn't really play the start of the season. You can turn this Still haven't fully upgraded my whatever drifter trash can of wonder is. I 
thought that arc bolt hit him in the back. Just let me kill your friend, man. Why'd you have to jump in the way? It's range impaired, which is a good thing. Probably most 600s should have a reduced range, but... Ooh. This thing's inaccuracy is sucks, man. It is just... Like, it's kvost off levels of inaccurate. Like, I would prefer the blue and green autos I've ran over this thing. Because this just does not feel good whatsoever. Despite the fact that we had re-ran with it, it just... If you get shot... Your accuracy goes to shit. If they're at range, your accuracy goes to shit. Like right there. I didn't move my rhetorical off his head, but it just went everywhere but his fucking head. It is so weird. So if you have a choice between using this or a blue or green auto rifle, I suggest you use the blue or green auto rifle. So why you would have this, I have no idea. You're bored and... Jesus Christ, man. Like, this thing gets countered by so many other weapons. How do you fail at being a 600 RPM? That is, like, a rather spectacular thing to do. Like, I don't even know how they're gonna manage to drag out the season till November. Like... It started dragging a month ago, <laughs> and it is, mm, it's kind of pretty boring. Also, it doesn't help that every season pretty much feels like the same thing repeated over and over and over again. No. Like, where have we seen the do horde event put in consumable to upgrade said thingy to get loot from before? Mm. Where have we seen that? Menagerie? Like, we've been riffing on the Menagerie for, what, two years now? A victory well it's like they found out we enjoyed the Menagerie and just kept redoing the Menagerie over and over and over and over and over again. In different methods. It's a just... victory doesn't win a war, but it's a start. Good work. So the doubt, does this gun have any range? No, does it still get your kills? Yes, this is 600 RPM. And even though the blues and greens are better than it, it's still a 600 RPM and these things really need to get looked at on console. Like seriously, come on. The only thing I ever seem to fight is a auto rifle. And its name is typically the Gnawing Hunger. Or the Forward Path, or sometimes Summoner. This thing's base stats, oof, they're bad. You should feel bad. Anyways, thank you all for watching and hope you all have an amazing day and stay classy.